I'm Jenny with Roots and Wings Furniture and Home and in this video I'm going to show you how to use a paint sprayer. We have some dining room chairs that are desperately in need of a new coat of paint and I don't know if you've ever painted spindles but you'll know it is a pain and a half. So the only way you can get me to paint spindles is to use a paint sprayer. I'm using a brand new one that I've never used before so I thought it would be fun to open the box with you and just walk you through it step by step exactly how I would use this so that you can use it on your next project as well. Let me just tell you a couple of things that we need to do to get started and then we'll get into the fun stuff. Let's do this. Okay, a couple of quick considerations before we even start spraying and spraying is the fun part and it goes pretty quickly once you get started but the prep work is a little bit more involved so I would recommend spraying on a nice warm you know 70s ish sunny day um, the Sun is really gonna help your paint dry quickly so I do recommend it if it can be sunny that would be great now you will need to use um, a paint tent of some kind or just an area that overspray will not be an issue. I've set up this paint tent. I'll show you it a little bit more here in a minute. It's actually just a huge pain and I wouldn't really recommend it unless you absolutely have to use a tent, um, but I had it so I went ahead and set it up. You'll also need some drop cloths to really cover the area, the floor. I mean this this stuff, it's the paint's going to go everywhere, so just be prepared for that wherever you are going to paint. You also need good ventilation, so I like to do it in the garage with the garage doors open, uh, just so that spray, you're not breathing in all the little tiny particles of paint. Now, you're going to have to prep your product that you're going to paint, uh, the same that we usually would. I sanded down these chairs really well with 220 grit sandpaper. These have already been painted once, in some cases twice, so i sanded them really well, not through the paint necessarily, just enough to really scratch up that surface. I want this paint to stick really, really well. So give it a good sanding and then also a good cleaning. I am using Dixie Belle's White Lightning here in the spray bottle and I clean the chairs really well. Again, not even only for the paint dust, which you do need to clean, but also uh, to clean off any sticky fingerprints. I mean, these are the kitchen chairs. So any peanut butter fingers, anything, any oil or anything that is on the chairs, the paint will not stick to food. So clean these chairs or whatever you're painting super well. So that is the prep work. Um, it does take a bit of time, but once you get through all of that, it's time for the fun part. Let's get to spraying. The sprayer I'm going to use for this project is a Wagner home decor paint sprayer. This sprayer is especially designed for use with chalk paint, so that is not an issue. And this is a brand new one, so I thought I would just open this box right along with you. You get the motor compartment, which will sit on the ground as you spray. It's nice and heavy and durable. You'll also get an air hose. There is no paint that actually moves through this hose. It is just for air. It attaches to the motor on one end and then it will attach to your paint cup on the other end. Now your paint gun is essential. This is your tool here. This little knob here adjusts the amount of paint that will come out as you squeeze the trigger. You can see that the trigger will barely move there and then it will move a lot and that impacts the amount of paint that comes out. And then this is the can where we put our paint, mix it with some water and you're ready to go. I am using Dixie Belle's Caviar for this project. That is their black. Now, on your paint cup, it will say this in the directions, with a darker color, you're going to add a little bit more water. So I'm going to pour an entire 16 ounce container into this cup. It fills it out up about to the 400 milliliter line. And then I'm going to add 100 milliliters of water to this paint and give it a really good stir. This is going to thin the paint a lot. It's going to be super runny, but that's just what you want when you are using a paint sprayer. They provide this really cool poster and I would highly recommend this. If you don't have a poster, get a piece of cardboard. Just give yourself an area that you can do a test spray. So you can see exactly how much is coming out, at what rate, where you need to stop pulling the trigger. This is super handy anytime you're using a brand new sprayer. 
or a new tool to you, I would highly, highly recommend this. Also play around the position of the nozzle. You can twist that nozzle and it will allow you to get a little bit of a different spray area. So play around with that until you feel comfortable enough to use it on your furniture. Okay, my chairs are ready to go. Tip on chairs, turn them upside down and do the legs first. That will help you prevent you from missing some spots. I'm also gonna say this here, I didn't use a mask when I did this first chair. You do need to use one. You still breathe in a lot of paint. So I put on my mask after this chair was finished and I would highly recommend that you wear one as well. You're going to use short, even strokes. Try to keep your nozzle as evenly away from your piece as possible. On all of these spindles, it's really hard not to miss anything. So you just go up and down on each leg and on each spindle. Spin that chair around as many times as you can, even if you get your hands in some wet paint, just so you are sure to not miss a spot. Also, just for reference, I sprayed seven chairs and I used three 16 ounce containers of the Dixie Bell paint. I do feel like you use a bit more paint when you're spraying than when you're brushing. So make sure you have enough paint on hand um, and maybe a little bit extra in this case. After I finished spraying the chairs, I sat them outside in the sun to dry and then took a paintbrush with just a little bit of paint and did any touch-ups that I saw were necessary. I will say this, when you get to the end of the paint in the canister, the sprayer tended to get a little bit splattery, so watch for drips at that point. There was one chair that had some drips. If you get some drips, don't worry, you can either fix it with your brush or if you don't catch it in time, let it dry and then you can sand it smooth and touch it up at that point. After the chairs were dry from all the paint and touched up, then I went in with a coat of top coat. Now, I was going to spray the top coat originally, but I was tired of wearing a mask. I was <laughs> ready to be done spraying. So I just took a brush and went over the chairs with some top coat. It really didn't take as long as I anticipated. Just a little bit will do, especially over a dark color, so you don't get drips or any um, white areas forming there. I actually did the bottom of my table as well, just so they would match the chairs, and that took no time at all. I was happy to have that done. I feel like I have an entire new set, which is so nice. So overall, this sprayer was fantastic to work with. I would highly recommend it. It is, it's really not that hard. The hardest part about spraying is the setup that you have to use and then the takedown and the cleaning. Now I get a ton of questions on how to clean a sprayer. So let me show you how I clean this sprayer out uh, in my laundry room. Let me show you that video now. You are gonna wanna clean out your sprayer as soon as possible after you're finished. Do not let that paint sit in there because it will dry and it will mess up your nozzle. It's messy. Do this in a utility tub if you can. Just take it all apart and we're going to clean each of the pieces one by one. You can unscrew the cap and the nozzle will come off all the way down to what is called the needle in there, which is where the paint actually comes out. They provide a little tiny bottle brush. Uh, that will help get all that paint out of there. It's really easy to see here because I use black paint, but basically just anywhere you see paint, clean it up. All I'm using is warm water. If you feel like you need to add a little bit of dish soap, you can, uh, but I felt that warm water did the trick. Also, if you're switching colors in your paint sprayer, uh, the tip in the directions was you could add some warm water directly to your paint can there and spray it out, spray out the water until it runs clear if you're needing to quickly change colors of paint. I only did one, one paint color in here, so I cleaned this up and put it away for storage. And that's a wrap on this project. I hope that helped inspire you to use a sprayer the next time you have a big project, or if you've just always wanted to give it a try, I would highly recommend it. It's a fun process. Check out these videos here for more inspiration on your painted furniture and this playlist here for more fun DIY projects you can do while you are home. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for hanging out. Bye-bye.